Well, good morning. Welcome back to the Ohio farm. I slept in a little, not a lot. It's uh, six o'clock in the morning, mid June. Uh, we were up late last night. Well, not really late, but we were up later than usual. It was after dark. Two points. Yes, it was after dark. Uh, when we made it home, we had uh, done the grass work over behind the cow shed so uh yeah oh that's what i can do first off we sold off of all of our silage with the exception of what's right here and we won't get much for this but let's go get rid of it So yeah, I slept in a little bit till six o'clock. Uh, would have normally probably got up at five, knowing that we've got the harvest to do and everything. So we'll let the sun kind of dry the field, make sure the crop moisture's down, even though it's not a problem in FS22. But since we play realistic-ishly, we will. Uh, We'll wait a little bit. We'll go deliver this first. Um, we'll also take a look at contracts. I still got one pending on a field to do a barley contract. And then I've got my field of barley that needs to get harvested as well. But yeah, we pushed through last night or yesterday and did all that grass work. We got all the grass off that uh, field behind the shed, cow shed, and it's in the bunker silo and blanketed. There's about 150,000 liters of chaff in there. I think last time we had about 100,000, so the difference was, uh, I guess, fertilizer state and the rolling because we used bond silage last time as well, the silage additive. So it's more the fertilizing and the, and the rolling that made the difference. This is not gonna be much money at all, but maybe it'll cover the property maintenance. Uh, I think our property maintenance was 1300. Yeah, covered our daily property maintenance, so we got that going for us. Speaking of maintenance, I think this trailer and the tractor could both use some too, so I guess we'll do that when we get back to the farm. <laughs> Then I'm not sure what to do, whether I should go do the contract or whether I should uh, do my own field first. We'll take a look at, we'll do the maintenance first. Then we'll take a look at contracts and see if there's any new ones. And then we'll check the used equipment. There is a, like a, I don't know, what would you call it, a gator? An ATV, a John Deere ATV for sale. It's probably about $10,000 used uh, I wouldn't mind having one but I don't know if I want to spend ten thousand dollars right now to get one we are up to eighty five thousand after we sold all that solid though so that's nice that's helpful and that's even after we bought the Bressel and laid uh, high dump bucket for the wheel loader so I guess that's nice. I guess we'll just pull right in here. We'll hop out and see what we can do for maintenance. Oh boy, that's pricey. 
trailer not so much. It needed more work. All right. Okay, so let's see what we got for contracts. Just the one that we already had. And used equipment. This morning we have... A feed wagon just like the one we already have. And the gator's gone, so that that helps us with that. I'm going to need a tractor over here. I got a... Oh, I can use this one, I suppose. I've got to get the auger out from under the trailer so I can move the truck. And I think I'll use this Brantner trailer over on the other field. And I'll need to get the little massy over here again. Oh, I kind of need to move my truck back a little bit so I can slide that out of there, I think. That's one way to do it. Probably not the preferred method. So, yeah, did I decide which one I was going to work on first? I don't even remember now. Was I going to work on mine or the contract field? Oh, I was going to make up my mind after I saw if there were any additional contracts. So I think I'll work on mine. Bailing. We need to do bailing too. Um, let's get the combine. thought these were supposed to kind of snap into place when you got them in the right spot. When you backed away. There. I, I guess I just had it on there so good. <laughs> you couldn't even notice it. I'm just that good. Oh, that can't be right. No, 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 that can't be right. It's so close behind the back of the combine, I can't even turn it. So, there's no way that's right.
I don't even look straight. Hopefully it'll stay on there. Too close again. I know I've towed this before with that on there. I don't know. Uh, I'll bring it over with something else, I guess. I don't know. Have I ever towed that? Maybe I haven't. Oh, I'm sure I have. Crop destruction on, so I got to be careful around the. around the fields. So, where am I going to put the header? The header trailer. I'll go get it with this. Alright, so this is our, uh, our other barley field here. We're open, let's fire it up. I think I got straw swap enabled. Yep, there it is. I've been thinking about it, I probably need to get some small squares again, and then maybe I'll lease a round baler to do some of the uh, some more to keep for the for the cows and then we can start using the small squares to mix add the TMR maybe I don't know or we can sell the small rounds off at the new sell anything container Careful over here with these trees. Just like that. So my oh I gotta come out a little. And then back a little. Okay. Some of these trees are just a little too close to the field edge. Not quite as bad as that one behind the house though. That one I gotta someday figure out how to take care of that thing. Might have to lease a forestry mulcher or something to get it. These I think I can carefully maneuver past, but that one is just kinda in the way. really 
really good yield off of this though. What, I'm at 50% and I've done half the, half the perimeter of the field. So it's likely I won't even get a, a full revolution around the field before my grain tank is full on the combine. which is a pain in terms of harvesting it, but is awesome in terms of yield and how much grain we're gonna get off of it. And we'll hold on to it till probably December, January time frame again and get as much as we can for it. So I'm gonna continue to harvest this field Hey kid, don't ever let them get inside your head They'll tell you what to do in life instead Of everything you know that you can get Don't let them guide your life towards regret I'll fight for what I love with every breath My past is filled with things I won't forget I use them all to push me to my best So treat the worst of times just like a test if only I could go back in time I'd tell myself that everything will end up alright Just push yourself, test yourself, figure out what you like And find your limits, don't be rigid, always work towards a prime Surround yourself with open minds, people can change your life A few friends with intent can help you feel alive Find a passion, take some action, and with a little time Just be patient, make a statement, try to enjoy your life They'll try to kick you while you're down they wanna rise up while you drown They wanna fill your head with doubt They're silently scared that you'll figure it out I'll make it look like I'm losing Won't bother hiding my bruises And when they finally think you're wounded Then it's your chance to be ruthless I can see that they compare I think everyone's against me Maybe something in the air Am I paranoid? I swear a void is forming And they're scared I walk a straight path Not many can say that I like to play fast Cross me and there's payback You better pray that I don't see your face at Any place that I go I know you hate that I've been doing fine I'm not wasting any more time I live for the fight and the climb I think that the pain that's deep inside Is what defines So I won't give up, I'm gonna make it to the top I don't care what's in my way, I swear I'm never gonna stop I could fall flat on my face and I swear I won't get back up Cause I don't deserve a thing and the road ahead is tough They'll try to kick you while you're down They wanna rise up while you drown they wanna fill your head with doubt They're silently scared that you'll figure it out I'll make it look like I'm losing Won't bother hiding my bruises And when they finally think you're wounded Then it's your chance to be ruthless Well, it should finish up the uh, barley harvest for this year. 
had my wife helping me out there at the end so we could try and get it done a little quicker. get it put here into the grain tank at the west place got one with wheat and one with barley like the auger for the barley harvest. So next we got wheat. couple of days we got the uh, contract on the barley harvest to do yet and then all this bailing of the straw See how this is coming. Twenty percent fermented. Cows have plenty of food. I could probably take the chicken some. Chickens are fed. my bailer. Oh, it's under the
So I'm gonna pop in the house for a minute. Okay, hopped in the house and uh, took a quick shower, changed clothes. Thank my wife for coming out and running the combine for a while for me. Um, so I'm going to hop in the Massey Ferguson here and do bailing for a little bit. I think, uh, I don't know, I think we only got about 13 small square straw bales left so I don't know how many to make because I'm worried about the bale count and I want hay more than I want straw I might get a hay is the first one out here yeah well I didn't lower the pickup not quite sure how it no change it to straw okay Let me pull up the info and see what the bail counts on on the bail counter. Okay, so I'm at like 159 right now. I've never reset. Um, reset bail counter. Bing. Okay, so the the one on the right with the sigma symbol is, I guess, lifetime. So we'll probably have a couple more than what it says, but okay, we'll get rid of that. We'll check it later. I'm not sure how many of these I want to get, but maybe about Thirty-eight, maybe. That would give us. I think. I, okay, if we got thirteen, oops, we have thirteen to end up with fifty. Would be uh, thirty-seven. So yeah, let's let's shoot for like thirty-five. I think the first two weren't counted. And then the round baler will wait till after the wheat harvest. That means we're gonna have to leave everything on here. Now, well, I guess we could pay an extra day. Where are we at? 20, let's just leave it up. So we're, what, June 2 right now? So the wheat won't be ready until July. So I probably shouldn't rent a round baler until tomorrow at the earliest. We'll finish this bale. Dump those two out. There we go. Fold that up.
get rid of that menu. Put the bailer back. And I guess maybe we can go start working on that contract. Do a little quick maintenance on the Massey Ferguson. What I don't like is the front loader attachment gets wear on it, even though you're not actually using the front loader, just because it's attached to the... You can probably use fuel, too. Can I reach it from here? Yep. Okay, what are we doing on fuel? Oh, need to have fuel in, field info up. Oh, 233 liters, that's good. So I guess <coughs> we could go finish up that contract. I think the equipment's all over at the field over here. It's to our north. So I'll bring in a little bit of income. Uh, let's see, we've got both of our barley fields harvested, so no worries there. Just straw to get off. Okay, so things are slowing down, I guess, a little bit. That's good. Seemed really hectic there at the beginning of June. I think maybe because I thought we'd get more contracts and I wanted to be prepared to be able to take them, but yeah, more haven't come up, so it's all right like they chose to leave that field fallow for this uh, growth cycle. Weeds are all mature in it. Okay, come up here to the left. Oh, tight left. Run down the side of this field, and we should see the equipment up ahead. You can see the trailer. So it's sitting here waiting for us. This is the field right here to the left. Okay. Yeah, I think I can just leave that right there. And we'll get in the field and get started on this one. More harvesting, yay! <laughs> That's what you want to see, right?
this should go pretty quick though because this harvester is a lot bigger than mine Snatch up that header. So that set me up nice to back over here. Huh. Did did I actually destroy that crop by driving over it? I don't own this field, do I? Oh, must not have been planning. I was going to say. All right. So here we go uh, on the contract. I think we're already 1% delivered from the uh, barley that was on the other field. I don't really need to drop the straw swath, but we'll just leave it. They can come pick it up if they want. So in FS19, there is a, I don't know, glitch, a loophole that you could, using a mod called the milling machine, come in and get the straw off of a contract field. If you come in here with a baler and try and get it, it'll say you don't have access to this land, even though you do for the contract. But that was the loop. I don't know if it works in this as well. In FS22, that would be something interesting to, to try. See if you can get away with it. But you could earn a little extra money from a contract on a field or you could get some straw if you needed it i know when i was playing fs19 on six ashes which is my favorite map of all time uh that i did that a few times i think i wanted the straw for my pig farm <clears throat> So our tank's a little bigger on this one, but I'm wondering if we'll even get around the field one time before we got to empty it, the grain tank on this harvester.
just when you think everything's going smoothly, you start to have problems. I've got a fault indicator light coming on here in the combine. This ain't mine. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to have to shut it down here. And call the owner of the equipment and see what he wants me to do. It couldn't happen after we had uh, put the grain in the trailer to empty it. We just took the uh, trailer to the delivery point. So, yeah. Hmm. Weird. The ladder's in the behind that. You need to open that up, probably. I don't know. All right, so let me call. See what he wants me to do. I go sit in my truck and call. I parked over here after I moved the uh, header trailer out of the way. Okay, so I, I gave the owner a call and he said he was going to have the maintenance guys come out. So, it should be like a contact team that comes out and uh, we'll fix a combine for us. So we'll just wait here till they get here. They're supposed to be on the way already, which is pretty nice. I don't use them myself. I work on my own equipment pretty much. Sometimes I might need somebody to come in and do something for me, but I don't want to work on somebody else's uh, equipment. It's not mine necessarily. And I guess he probably doesn't want me to work on it either. So. We'll just wait here and see if these guys show up here pretty soon. It's a shame, you know, we're getting getting some work done, but I guess, you know, you got to do what you got to do. There they come. So they're here already. That's a good deal. Yeah, we're in here. Combine, yeah. Yeah, oh, hey. Yeah, this is where you want to be. Just pull up over by the combine. All right, yeah, I didn't notice anything. It was just a fault indicator light came on. Uh, no other indications that there's a problem. So yeah, we'll let them uh, let them do their work, and uh, and we can get back on it. I think. How much grain did we have in here? Yeah, it's not full yet, so.
And hopefully it doesn't take too long. Alright, so I finished up. We're gonna take off. So, yeah, thanks. Appreciate it. But we'll be able to get back on it. That's good. Alright. So we didn't lose too much time, a little bit. That was actually a pretty quick fix. Must have known what they were dealing with. We got oh, almost, we got half a grain tank already in the combine. Unnecessary and unexpected interlude, but I guess you now we don't have a whole lot to do because uh, we're going to wait on getting the baler till the end of June. That way, maybe we'll only pay two days on it, bailing the uh, straw off of the barley fields with the round baler leased, and then uh, get the wheat field done and bail that hay with the lease baler and then return it. Should get a, uh, should buy one, but we only got what, $80,000 right now. We'll make a little off of this contract, but uh, still not a whole lot. I'd like to build a pasture now that we've gotten the uh, grass off the field behind the cow shed. So uh, I think I may build a pasture there and put the uh, put the calves in there. It's a shame that on console you can't get the uh, can't get the calves and that type of thing. We're experiencing a bit of lag because I've got a worker he is driving that service truck back to the back to the store. I think he must must have just got there, or, or the processor caught up with what it needed to do because it looks like we lost the lag. Yep, there, they're already uh, at the store. So that that explains that. Okay, let's keep an eye on our grain tank here. We're at 94 already. I think we might be full before we get to the end of the field. And I think once we put this in the trailer, we'll be ready to take another load over to the uh, cell point. Yep. I think once we once we put this in there, I think it'll probably be full. Maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. I anticipate that this should fill it, but maybe it won't. getting most of it.
No? Okay. Certainly if we go bat down and back one time, it's going to fill it. Oh, whoops. We're going to need to come over here, don't we? Uh, I think we're going to go ahead and wrap the episode here. Um, actually come back and visit us here on the Ohio farm. We'll see what uh, tomorrow brings. Probably we'll see you in the next episode tomorrow. Might do a little bit more work off camera, but uh, nothing too exciting, I don't think. Nothing too major is going to happen. I might pick up those straw bales, take them over, pile them in the uh, building where we store them. Other than that, uh, I don't really see much other than finishing up this contract. So again, thanks for watching. Go back and see us again here on the Ohio Farm.